Peace and shalom. My name is Ron Brother E. I'd like to welcome you back to another daily post of God's ministry. I'm going to begin off, as I always begin off, with a prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day for our daily bread. Forgive us of our trespass as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the power and the glory forever. Amen. Father, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we come to your throne asking for forgiveness and the sound of my voice for all our sins and iniquities and transgressions. We ask through the precious blood of your Son, who was crucified and who became a curse for us, for his body, for his life to be a sacrifice for us all to be washed clean and the finished work that was done on the cross for us to be freed from all the power of the enemy witchcraft sorcery and black magic to be freed of the occult and everything that's an abomination to your kingdom and your shoes my name follow we we have faith and trust and belief in your word in jesus mighty name that your peace that surpasses all understanding is coming down right now straight from the heavenly realm into our lives and the sound of my voice to all those who need it i pray for peace i pray that this word is anointed with your peace and your grace and your love let it be of you and not of me and i pray that people are able to experience and encounter your true peace not as the world giveth but as you giveth for you your son is the prince of peace and i pray that his peace especially the peace that crush Satan it covers your children and it covers and it, and it stomps out the devil it stomps out all evil and um, darkness that's coming against your children Father I pray for a hedge of protection around and about your children and um, to protect them from the evil one who is Satan Lucifer and the evil ones that's in this world the fallen angels May you protect your children. Father, I pray for your grace and your mercy of your Son, Jesus Christ, and now to bless your children and sound my voice, my voice with grace and mercy. I pray that they are blessed in their lives, blessed coming in, going out, bless all that they have in your hands and keep it, keep them safe and secure in your hands. Protect their minds, guard their minds, guard their souls, guard their spirits. Protect them for lives of deception from the enemies. Protect them for incubus, succubus, entities, and Jezebel spirits, and every spirit. That's an abomination to your kingdom, even to the things that we do not understand and know that come against who you are and the knowledge of who you are, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we ask that you intervene and protect your children from it. We ask for strength um, and favor to fall upon your children, supernatural strength and favor right now to bring them favor in their lives and um, all the situations that they're in. Give them favor, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Peace and shalom. Peace and shalom. I hope and pray that you guys are filled with the love of Christ and you guys are filled with the with the peace as well. And I know at a time like this, um, we all need peace. We all need um, the love um, to be poured into our lives and our hearts and to be able to feel the tangible love of the Creator. The Father wanted me to express what He's been ministering to me is the love, the uh, the love and the, the caring that's needed um, for His children at this time because so many of um, Abba's children are feeling alone, not only alone, misunderstood, not only misunderstood, but there's a um, there's like a, a blockage going on with. Um, um, with um, Abba's children's emotional, um, emotional and mental um, state um, that has to be worked out. Um, things have to be ironed out. You know, if you see something wrinkled, you have to iron things out. It means you have to take your time, put a hot iron to it and press it out until it becomes straight. So it's kind of like working on yourself and working on your, um, your emotions and your thoughts and your feelings and Abba just wants us to take time out as his children to start to analyze and to look at our emotions to look at our thoughts and how we feel about ourselves and how we feel about people and situations and how we feel in the body of Christ or where we at you know I was thinking um, the other day and 
Abba had to lift me up in the set. You know, I was thinking to myself, like, Abba, you know, I know that I'm called to do this work that you have called me to do. I may not understand it fully, but I see a lot of revelation around a lot of things that I have done for you that you asked me to do, and I see how things come together. But sometimes it could be discouraging, Abba. It's just, you know, your kids, uh, your children are here on earth. You know, some of them are not where they're supposed to be at. Some of them are not acting accordingly. And a lot of them are just, um, just, just plain, you know, hot potato one, you know, one side to the other side, lukewarm in the middle. And, you know, I was just thinking, I was like, I'm about, you know, I want to do your work. I, I truly want to do your work. I truly want to help others. I truly, but I don't feel like I'm equipped to do all that you called me to do. And I, th I feel like, I don't know if it, if this is the right timing for me or the season I'm in. And I was just going on and on, you know, I wrote a big list in my mind about all the things that, um, you know, were, were troubling me and troubling my heart. And um, Abba just answered me with one, it was like a, a burst of a thought that just came over me. And the silence, everything I was just thinking about, worrying about, he said, let my will be my will. That's all he said, let my will be my will step aside and I said right let your will be your will not my will I'm worried about too much I'm worried about if I'm qualified I'm worried if if I if I have all the tools that's needed I'm worried if I'm gonna be a good this a good that for the kingdom I'm so much caught up in worrying these things and he said let my will be my will over your life step aside and that silenced the voices, that silenced the worries, that sil silenced the cares and, the, and the, this, this struggling trying to be at peace with certain things. So I know that this is going to help you with your concerns, with your worries, because this is a message from the Holy Spirit. What did you know? The Abbas will be his will over your life with every single thing, no matter what it is, no matter what you pray for, you say, let your will be your will, no matter what you're doing, you're called to do, say, let your will be your will, to, and this thing that I'm doing for you and your kingdom, guide me, let your will be your will, I know this is going to help somebody, I about wanted me to get this message out, I felt a strong burning in my spirit, I thank Abba for that burning. I thank him for that, that push that he gave me to do a sermon. I thank him for that. Because even in the midst of us sometimes feeling dry, and all of a sudden we feel that burst, that, that, that power, this boom, go speak my word. It brings joy to my spirit to know that Abba is true to his word. He will never forsake us or leave us. We just will have to wait on him. My name is my brother E. I'd like to thank y'all for listening to another Daily Post of God's Ministry. Peace and Shalom.